until the Vex came. The Vex replaced the planet's core with their own machines. We call it the Infinite Forest, an ever-expanding labyrinth of realities. No two paths are ever the same. No one has ever escaped. It was Osiris's. What's going on, guys? I figured I'd make this video and uh, bring it to you guys' attention because uh, it just came to my attention this reset. Um, I see I'm doing uh, one of the story missions weekly. Was it daily heroic missions? You gotta do three of them. Um, let me skip this. Let me just go into my inventory. I'll give you guys a quick look. That's not my actual power level. Let me go to what my actual power level is. Um, right. So, I'm going to put my highest stuff on. So I'm about to 535, right? Now, when I started off with Crucible, it gave me a better Devils. That was 535. I already had the Twilight Oath from last week as a high drop. That was from last week. Now, the Bad Omens I just got from Gambit. That dropped the 535. But the one just before that, which I got last week, was the Outrageous Fortune Grenade Launcher. You can see it's only one up. Um, now we go over here. When I did Gambit, like I said, I got that, which was one above the highest power level I had in my power amp, my power uh, weapons. One up, right? So I got the rocket launcher, which from from doing a daily one, and then I got boots. So I figured, all right, I did the three matches. I figured it's going to be higher than 536. It was exactly the same. Now I uh, went and did the strikes, right? I did get the cold heart. Um, the cold heart catalyst. And then I got Prometheus Lens Catalyst last. So I'm happy about that. But then also... So I said, alright, I got a chest piece. Right, I said, all right, I got a chest piece from from doing the strikes, the you know the heroic strikes. I don't might think it matters if you do it if I have four hundred or five hundred. It's still gonna drop the same. Gave me a five twenty five. I said, what the heck's going on here? So I got the chest piece, and then I got an exotic on top of it. I said, oh, all right, awesome. I said, I got the doom fang. Right, so I go, all right, it's got to be higher. So then I realize. It's lower. It's not higher. It's lower. See, 539. The iron piece originally, I believe, came from. Um, I think it was. I think it was uh, Crucible. Either Crucible or Gambit or uh, the Strikes. No, it wasn't the Strikes. It was. I'm sorry. It was uh, Gambit. I said. Oh, I said. Oh man. Or, I'm sorry. It's a Prime Ingram. That's what it was. So I said, all right, so two things from strikes, lower. Well, in reality, I'm 535, so it's one above. So each piece of gear I was getting was one above. Um, we go to the primary, one above, 536, 535. Now, um, just so you guys know, if you're doing an Ace of Spades quest or the Chaperone quest or the Wish Ender Bow quest, which... If you're going to do that quest, you got to be... I, I wouldn't do it unless I was around 580, 570. Uh, because that's recommended of a 590. But if you're doing Ace of Spades quest or Chaperone, I would tell you just hold off on it. Unless you want it desperately, hold off. Because it's going to drop according to your light level. Like, it's like the Chaperone dropped for me at 538 and I'm 535. So I'm like, alright, that's cool. So even when I put that on, it stays the same. It doesn't go up. Obviously, what's holding me back is, you know, I got a 534 sniper. And then, you know, the 534 chest piece. So anytime you, you go ahead and you do any of these missions, any of these, once you get up around 530, 
was convinced it was the door to anytime you do um gambit strikes we need to open that door. or the daily heroic mission it's only gonna drop now obviously you can go to dreaming city and those bounties will always give you something powerful there's the spider bounties you can do the one spider bounty but after you do all your milestones and you're all done for the week. I have three characters, so I'm always busy with my milestones. I still haven't touched the Night Falls, obviously, because I'm not high enough. I might do them later on in the week once I get higher enough, you know, high enough power level. But you've always got Crucible. Every time your rank, every time you go up a rank, it'll drop you something powerful higher than what you are with crucible and gambit other than that you're pretty much just gonna get one above what you already are same thing with the dailies because after you do your milestones you get the daily missions for vanguard gambit and crucible it's gonna be the same thing and the heroic adventure it's all gonna be the same thing one up the only thing that you can do is the raid well obviously I don't know about you guys, but I'm not touching that raid until I'm, I'm, you know, five away from 600 or 600. Um, now, if you want to get the raid stuff, like I said, you guys already know how to do that. If you don't, um, I'll put a video up for you guys, but uh, it's quite simple. You can go to the first chest, get the first chest, and the second chest if you know how to jump over the bridge. Um, but I just figured I'd bring it to your guys' attention. Um, I just noticed it today um so but like i said there's a lot of other activities you can do that'll give you higher stuff but the only problem is you know if you're lower power level it's just it's not gonna work out for you it's just not um i'm not complaining about it i love the way they do this new system although even some of the powerful stuff that you need to go do you can't do it because you're not on enough power level Unless you get a carry. Um, and I don't mind it. I like what they did. I like what they've done in Forsaken. And I like how exotics are hard to get. I wish the drop rate was a little better. As far as exotics. Well, champion, how do you get exotics? How do you get exotics? I got my clan mates all the time. How did you get that? How did you do that? Um, you know, and I tell them. I've told them. Uh, I've taken them to get the, um, the emblem from the uh, first wish raid. I've, what, from what I've seen and from exotic dropping was the spider bounty, which is what I got Lord of Wolves from. Um, Gambit. I got the new Titan helmet, right? Which is the one eyed mask and, uh, chaperone and ace of spades. And that's, that's basically it. And then the chaperone and ace of spades, but, um, Anyway, like I said, just uh, pick and choose wisely what you're going to do because every every weekly reset, when you go to do uh, your Crucible and your Gambit, they're going to give you something a couple over. Like I said, I probably made a mistake when I said that. They're going to give you something that is, you know, like I said, I got the bad omen, omens, which was one over what I was. You know, I had a 534, it gave me a rocket launcher 535. And it dropped me boots at 536, but I already am 536 because I got a drop from Crucible 536 boots. They dropped me drifter boots at 536. Not that you can't take them and infuse them in anything else. Just remember when you infuse exotics, I'm saying when you take an exotic and infuse it into anything it's going to be a lot cheaper than having to spend materials and i hear a lot of people talking about master cores now from doing activities in the game you're going to get these things called finest matter weave and you get those from doing any type of activity they're going to drop you a master work core when you kill something another way is uh to get Mod components is to dismantle, I'll show you right now, to dismantle, go to your collections, go to weapons, and this is if you if you did the quest. If you didn't, you're not going to get it. Go to scout rifles, 
And you're going to go to... Where is it? Here it is, the break tech. So let's watch watch rounds when I go ahead and buy one of these. Alright. You can get as many mod components as you want. I'll go to my character. I'm not sure what happens when I delete this. Well, they must have patched it. You used to be able to get mod components from dismantling one of those, but I guess they patched it. So never mind. But uh like I said, so you're gonna want to go and pick up bounties from spider. The 1540 bounty, which is the highest, and eventually that's a 540 bounty. It'll drop you powerful stuff, but only to a certain extent. So, Dreaming City, like I said, and then you got the Blind Well. I haven't touched that. Why? I'm not a high enough power level. You know what I mean? When I, when I do an activity, I want to make sure I'm a high enough um, power level. You know, I don't want to go in there blind, you know, I want to... And that's fine with me. I, I like how they did this. I can take my time. I can have fun. You know, I'm not in a rush. As long as I get the milestones done on all three characters within the week, I'm I'm good. And um, you know, so, so that's as far as that goes. Um, just wanted to let you guys know about it. You're pretty much wasting your time doing that. Not wasting your time. Do the Crucible. Do the Gambit. Do the Strike one. I'm going to do the daily anyway just to see what I get, but uh, I guarantee it's only going to be one over, which is fine because 534, if I can get a 535, that's good for my special. And then my chest piece, I need a 535 chest piece, so I mean, that's fine with me. Um, but let me know what you guys have gotten as far as exotics and stuff, I'm curious to know. But uh, yeah, so uh, hope you guys have a good day. Good morning, morning, day, night, wherever you are in the world, and uh, it's TJ. TJ does destiny, his destiny, blah 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 blah, yada do yada dee, and uh, like, share, subscribe.